here. What up, y'all? This is Young and May. Come check out my shoe closet, man. Hello, let's go. Let's go inside. The closet, big closet. It's actually, it's not even a closet, it's actually a bedroom that I've turned into a foot locker. So, y'all wanna come in? <laughs> All right, as you can see, this is my shoe cave. Everything about this room is about shoes, about sneakers. I am a big sneaker fan. You don't know how many pairs of shoes I have. The crazy thing is this isn't even all the shoes I have. I got a lot of classics. I got stuff from Jordan, Nike, uh, designer shoes, Yeezys, Pumas, Vans, slippers. Even growing up, like my mom kept me in Jordan sneakers since forever, like tomboy vibes, for real. Some of them I don't even know. I just know like a lot of them that I got is expensive. Like, I don't even know what these is called anymore. But like, y'all know I'm real life to the T. We got the Supreme Jones right here. You know what's crazy is I, I barely even wore these. Sometimes I don't even be knowing the name of them. I just be getting them because I know they something that's gonna be valuable. They expensive and they fire, period. I think I got two pair of Concords. I actually got two pair of uh, Concords. I don't even know why. Of course, we got the cool grays. Classic, I already know. I got the OVOs, the Drake Johns. I think I got two pair of his. Yeah. Got the all black ones. All these in the same set video. It's classic. They still clean, though. I can still throw these on. Shout out to Drake, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say, if you know, you know. Flu games, you already know. Come on, classics, man. I know I gotta have this, man. Big dog, still fresh, too. I mean, matter of fact, I might have to throw these on a day. No cap. These are just clean right now. You know, Jordan back in, back in style right now. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie. I can be here all day showing y'all all these classics. I ain't gonna give y'all the name of everything. Anybody know, they know. Like, at this point, you know. I got them all, you know what I mean? There's of course, classic Johns, man. Even that, like Johns that people probably never even seen before. Probably seen them, but expensive ones. They got like a little fur on them. I never knew the name of these. I ain't even gonna hold you, but of course they're the fours, but see. From material, got the rose gold going on it. I know I got the Iversons over here. Classic Jones. You know the I three, shout out to I. AI. You know the vibes, classic Jones. If you seen my practice video, you know, I had these on in practice. Talk about practice. Practice? Come on, man. If you watched the practice video, you know I had these on the head, man. Classic right here. AI, what's good, bro? Um, this is fresh, brand new. Never touched these ever. Fire. Classic. Red top, blue bottoms. AIs. Jordans, man. Jordans, Jordans, Jordans. These is one of my favorites, because of course, all red. These are my favorites, but everybody know phone posits was that shoe at one point. Everybody had a pair of phone posits. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Even the shorties had them. Now we can go, I guess, to the designer side. Like, oh, Yeezys, Yeezys, Yeezys. Um, Yeezys, Yeezys, Yeezys. Yeezys. Like, I probably wore these did it once. <laughs> Damn, look, I, you can tell I never wore these. This freaking laces is still like this. Still got the paper inside. Just bought them. Brand new. I can freaking lick the bottom of these. Like, I was wearing Dior before Dior really, really got like popular again. I'm not gonna say Dior was never popular, but I'm gonna say once it got popular again, when a lot of rappers was talking about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the ones that's just here. 
These right here I wore, the Louis Vuitton Jones I wore in, um, in the Bleed video. These are the ones I actually got from Dubai. It actually has, these is Louboutins, red bottoms, of course. And this actually has a astrology on it. It's like different signs, Taurus, Aries, I'm an Aries. Um, you know, different signs, you can see. You can see it's like the stars going into the astrology sign. I still haven't seen nobody with these. This is what made me get them, I'm into astrology, so I just thought it was only right. Never wore these. I wanted to, I actually think I tried to wear these or put them on and then I decided to change them. I actually wore these, but I don't know. I actually put them on and I think I took them off too as well. I think I didn't like them no more, but I just thought they was different. I never seen nobody with these knees. And I actually got these from Dubai as well. So these two I got from Dubai, the astrology ones and these ones. And when I came back to America, I didn't see nobody with them. So that's what made me get them. It's cause like, I never seen nobody with these yet. I wore these at the BET Awards. I think that was back in 2017, probably. But yeah, the sparkly front. I'm just like, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm really not into like high fashion of things. Like I'm the most simplest person in the world, as you can see. Let's just show y'all. Cause these is kinda cool. They did uh, straight out of Brooklyn. This is fire. I got these like a few years ago, like four years ago. They put my logo right here. They put Red Life, ooh, a Hennessy bottle. They put me on the side. You know what I mean? They even got my brother on here, man. Like somebody went online. Shout out to all my supporters, my fans, man. They do the most for me. Patrick Ewey's, never wore, but it ain't really like something I would put on, but just the fact that I was gifted these was fire. So shout out to you and Patrick Ewing. The little basketball on the inside, but this is personal sneakers inside this limited edition box. Kyrie 6, fire. It's just something to just have there, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't touch these, you just keep these in the box right here. The main shoe that everybody know I wear is the freaking Uptowns, man. The Uppies, man. Out of every shoe in here, I need fresh, brand new. This is my go-to shoe right here. Out of everything I just showed y'all, I will wear these all the time. And if you know, you know. Uptowns. You from New York, you know what they call Uptowns. You know what I mean? A lot of people call them Air Forces. You know what I mean? When I used to live in Virginia, they used to call them Flays. I remember that. I had them then. You know what I mean? But in New York, the uptowns, man. Uppies, all whites. We got the yak coming out on the side. You know what I mean? Then we got, look, that's my logo. That's how you know, though. You know what I mean? Got my logo inside, too. You know what I mean? Of course, man. I had these in the Off the Yak video. If you look at the Off the Yak video, it showed this in the beginning. See a quick cameo of these. Right now we're in the studio. This is actually a studio that I built personally, but with the bros too. And I'm just gonna give y'all a quick little, you know, update on how things go on around here, whatever the case. So let's just start. Um, so right now, of course, we're about to monitor. We got the speakers, we got everything set up here. Um, my bro actually built this up for me. So shout out to Blue, Brody, you already know. Got the microphone and all that. But before this was even here, I was so eager to set up a studio that I didn't even have this, so I just put the box there, put this on top, and the first song I ever recorded was Walk. And I actually recorded Walk by myself. Like, literally, I learned, I downloaded uh, Lexapro, and um, I just looked at tutorials on YouTube, and I just tried to figure it out, and I just, did the most I can do, and I actually recorded Walk by myself, engineered it, recorded it, everything by myself, and this is where it started. So that's why when you see the Walk video, I'm in the studio rapping this song, but it was different. I didn't have black walls, I didn't have the artwork and nothing. But um, yeah, man, this is kind of where 
I mean, for, for the past four years now, I've been here. This has been my home studio. This is how I rock out. I bring the mic close to me. Yeah. Sometimes I stand up. Sometimes I just sit down and I record it. As you can see too, also on the Red Flu project, I actually recorded the whole Red Flu, Red Flu project here as well, or whatever the case. Um, and I was here with an engineer and just locking in. Um, but yeah, this is my baby. This is my personal little space. And then right here in the middle of both of these kings, I got the O. And I got the three times platinum O, where we actually four times platinum now, by the way. But yeah, uh, this was my first plaque I ever got. So, of course, it has to be in the studio. I got a four times platinum one now. <laughs> but this is the original one. It's the first one I ever got, so I had to put it in the studio. Yeah, I mean, it's a vibe in here. You know, we got the pool table. You know, sometimes you just want to, I mean, you know, kick back. You don't want to always just be working. Sometimes you need a little break or something. My grandma actually got me this. It says, Young and Made Futuristic Rapper Lyrical Genius. My grandma actually got me this, like, just to, like, make it feel like I got an award. You know what I mean? I just thought that was thoughtful of her because she know how much I put in work when it comes to music and how much I invested in it. I appreciate that, Grandma. I love you. <laughs> this award right here, if you don't know, then you need to know, if no one knows that I actually uh, directed a porn, I keep it down here because it's like, it's an accomplishment. So down here is all the accomplishments. Uh, I know it has nothing to do with music, but in a way it does. Um, but I definitely was uh, awarded the Visionary Director Award. 2018, got the uh, Visionary Pornhub Award, man. And it's really heavy, like, like this is, this shit is heavy as hell, but uh, shout out to Pornhub, man. I appreciate it. You got the vinyl player. But shout out to my um, my ex that got me this, you know what I mean? Uh, very thoughtful. And we got the Wildin' Out champion belt that I won 2017. Yeah, got the championship belt. Keep it right here in the corner, you know what I mean? It's all love. Wildin' Out always show love or whatever the case. Wow. Shout out to Lucky Strike. They gave me my own personal pin uh, in New York City. I don't know if y'all aware of that, but like in New York City, it's a, it's a um, bowling alley called Lucky Strike. And shout out to Lucky Strike. They gave me my own personal pin and my own personal bowling ball, man. Put my logo on it. Shit, it's heavy as hell. But yeah, and it's crazy because I really bowl. Like, that's my forte. Like, that's one thing me and the bros do do is like we will go bowling and get busy, but I would never like use this. And they got my face right here as well. It's a little scratched up, but it's cool. But I would never use this because I wouldn't want to mess it up. So I just appreciate them showing love or whatever the case. And yeah, so that just let people know like don't mess with me and bowling. I get busy, for real. And when you, when you get things like this, like a bowling pen and a bowling ball, personally, that means you're really nice. Like, don't play with me. We got this right here. Might as well show y'all this while it's here. The New York City Council uh, proclamation they gave me, you know, basically almost like the key to the city in a way. But, um, you know what I mean? Just basically just Brooklyn just showing me love and, and how much I accomplished. Shout out to Shirley Chisholm. Okay. That just made me feel a little, a little different. <laughs> But appreciate the love, man. A lot of stuff I accomplished, man, is just sometimes you gotta go back and look back and just be like, wow, like, you really came a long way. All right, guys, it's the moment right here. I'm gonna be auctioning off my mic, special mic, until, until freedom. And I'm about to actually sign it and give it away. It's the moment right here. Let's go, let's, let's, I hope y'all zoomed in. Young and me, it's right there. It's about to say bye bye. Until freedom. It's gonna be freedom. <laughs> it's leaving. It's out of here. Yeah. Hello. Ah, ah, boom, bah, ooh, hey. All right, we out of here. Oh, come on, get out of here. Ah. <laughs> 
right. Take it. Yo, what up, man? This is Young and Made, man, and I appreciate you guys for coming through. You got to see some of the most valuable things that matters to me the most. I don't even let people in my uh, secretive part of things and things that I keep personal to me, but I love you guys and I appreciate you guys for coming through. But um, at this point, yeah, it's time to like get up out of here. I need my privacy and I need to eat unless you're not cooking for me. Yeah, I'm coming to the kitchen. Nah, I can't show you the kitchen. See, that's just too much, man. Y'all gotta go, man. It's time to go, man. Get up out of here, bro. <laughs> I gotta go, bro.